my name is Sarah and welcome. This is Sand and Sea Tarot. Um, this is going to be a general reading. It is going to include just a general reading about what's going on with your work, finances. Um, it'll do a very general love reading. And then um, I'm going to have an angel message, something that your angels want to tell you. And there will be a time at the end where you can ask a yes or no question. I'll have you like concentrate on your question and then we'll pull a yes or no answer from the angel answers deck. There is going to be an extended reading to this video. The link will be down below in the description. To get access to the extended readings, you will have to join the channel membership. It's $9.99 a month. There will be at least four videos um, every month for the extended whatever your sun, moon, rising sign is, although you will have access to all extended videos. So if you wanna cross watch, you'll have access to those too. So in the extended of this video, I'm going to dive deeper into whatever person that's on your mind, how they feel towards you. Um, if there's any blockages, we'll see if there's any blockages, some advice, and then what their next actions and intentions will be over the next four to six weeks. Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading. I'm going to be starting with two fairy oracle cards. This is the deck by Karen Kay. Okay, so our first one is protect your dreams. You are the guardian of your precious dreams and they are safe in your care. Keep them close to your heart until you're ready to release them. Okay, and now let's pull a second one. Solitude. Think of being alone as meaning you are all one and in total harmony with everything. The greatest treasures are those that wait silently during your quiet times. Okay, so now I'm gonna be moving on to the Kipper deck and we're just gonna see what's coming at you this week. So I'm not sure where this is going. This could be love, work-related, family-related. What's coming at Pisces for this week, Spirit? Please tell us about what's coming at Pisces for this week of October 18th to the 23rd. We have false person. We have journey. Great fortune. Bad health. And bottom of the deck is wealthy man. So we'll start with the false person. So the false person means that there's someone around you that is being deceptive. Um, this could be a friend, a family member, a coworker, could be a love interest, but there's definitely someone around you that is not being truthful, kind of being sneaky, could be talking behind your back. We have a journey here. So this card tells me or indicates that you're going to be taking some kind of trip somewhere. Um, I feel like this is more than just like, you know, an hour trip away. So you could be visiting family members, a loved one. Um, this could also mean work. Your work could be sending you somewhere. You could be traveling out of the country for work to another state. Um, you could be going on some kind of vacation that could, you know, take you a distance away from home. We have the great fortune. So this means that there's some kind of large sum coming towards you. Um, this could be an inheritance. This could be some back pay that's owed to you, some taxes, something, some, some kind of large amount of money. Large is your definition of large. Um, for someone, you know, $250 is a large amount of money for someone, you know, $10,000 is a large amount. So you are just kind of, you are having some large amount of money coming towards you. 
the bad health card does not necessarily mean that you're going to come down with some kind of grave disease or something. Uh, this just means, when I look at this, you see someone who's resting in that bed. So I take this card to mean that something is telling you, hey, look after your health. Maybe you need some more rest. Maybe you're working too much. Maybe you're not sleeping enough at night. Maybe you need to change the foods that you're eating. Maybe you need to exercise more. So there's something around your health that Spirit is telling you you need to start looking into this week. Um, and then the last card or card at the bottom is this is something that's kind of unknown to you that's going to be happening. Um, this also is the energy of something that could be happening over the next few weeks. So you do have some kind of person that's interested in you um, that is wealthy. So um, I don't want to say it says wealthy man. And I don't want to say that this means that, you know, if you are a man watching this that and you're straight that, you know, you're going to have a wealthy man interest. That's not what I'm saying. Um, just look at the idea here. So I think that there's just a romantic interest um, that could be well off, that's interested in you. This could also mean a business partner. You could also meet someone that you're going to go into business with and they have a lot of money to help invest in your business. Somehow you're meeting someone that is wealthy, a wealthy person that's going to be helping you out this next week or in the next couple of weeks. So now we're going to look into see what the tarot has to say, what's coming at you this week. I am using the Boo Tarot deck. This is by Celia Mellisville, I think is her name. Um, I know it's called Wild something, Wild Forms, I think is the name of her website. Um, she does have a presence on Instagram, but if you just put a Google, if you just Google Boo Tarot, her website should come up. Um, I love this deck. The only thing that's really interesting is look how it curves. It's the weirdest thing. I, it doesn't matter how I shuffle it. It does this weird, odd curve, but whatever. Um, it's fine. So we're going to go ahead and ask what's coming at Pisces this week. General. This is the general reading. What is coming at Pisces this week? Spirit, please let us know what's coming towards Pisces this week. Okay, so we have the Knight of Wands. We have the Magician. And look at this. All the major arcana, the ghosts have like glitter on them. So see, you can see the little glitter. I love it. It's so cute. We have the Two of Pentacles. bottom of the deck is the nine of swords. Oh, let's put, put you where you belong right there. So I feel like you're taking action towards something that you're very passionate about here with the knight of wands. This is the energy that you're going to be taking action forward in something that you're very excited about. I feel like this is something relatively new. It could be new job. It could be new hobby. Um, it could be new home. There's some kind of project that you're dealing with, working on that you're very excited about and you're taking a lot of action towards it. We also have the magician here. So this is about knowing your own power. So I feel like, you know, you're a great manifester. You're in your own power. You're very positive. You're making things happen. You're no longer just like sitting back on the couch and just letting life pass you by. You are like taking the bull by the horns, as they say here, and um, going forward and taking action into making your life be what you dream and desire it to be. We also have the two of pentacles here. So I feel like that you could be a little bit unbalanced in something. Um, this could be managing, you know, work, home life, love life. There's something that's a little bit out of balance. And I believe that you're trying to find some equilibrium right now. We have the nine of swords, which is the energy at the bottom of the deck, meaning something that's kind of unknown to you or something in the next couple of weeks that will come forward. So you are having some kind of fear, some kind of anxieties about something. You're overthinking a lot. You may not be sleeping. It could have a lot to do with maybe being excited even about a new adventure, something that you're embarking on. And, um, you know, there's a lot of unknowns. So you could have a little bit of anxiety, but at the same time, you're very excited about it here with the knight of wands. 
let's just go ahead and clarify and ask more about this Knight of Wands. Why the Knight of Wands, Spirit? Please tell us about the Knight of Wands. Interesting. We have the Two of Pentacles. So I feel like you're um, very excited because you've made a choice about something. You've made some kind of decision. You're trying to multitask. We have that here now, two of pentacles. So there definitely is something that you're trying to find balance in, but you're very excited about it, whatever it is, whatever it is that you're trying to balance. At least one of the things you're really, really excited about, very passionate about. Uh, let's see if we can find out more about that Knight of Wands. Tell me more about this Knight of Wands. What else about the Knight of Wands? Oh, we had two cards jump out. I'm going to put them back in. Tell me more about this Knight of Wands. So we have these Seven of Wands. Whatever it is, is very challenging and you like it. I feel like maybe you've been bored. You've kind of been in a rut with something. Something just wasn't turning out how you envisioned it to be. Um, maybe there was like some boredom, you know, this could be with your career even, not sure. So I feel like there's this new ignite, there's this new ignited passion and drive towards something. And I feel like this challenges you and you needed that. You needed some kind of challenge just to um, kind of break up the, the same routine kind of thing, you know. Let's ask about this magician. Why is this magician here? Tell me more about the magician. So I feel like, again, this does line up with the magician with manifesting and knowing your own power. We have a star. So the star is about hope, renewal, faith, um, clarity. Um, like you found your purpose. You're, I feel like you're just very excited about this new adventure that you're taking on here. And then let's go ahead and clarify that two of pentacles. What's this unbalance? What's this imbalance in your life, Pisces? What's unbalanced? We have the eight of wands. Whatever it is, it's some kind of change that has gone, gone on in your life. There's been some kind of change for you. And I think you're just trying to find the balance between whatever this new energy that whatever the new energy is that has come in, you're trying to find a fine line balance between that new energy and home life, work life, um, hobbies, love. You're just trying to find an overall balance in your life to accept this new energy, this new change. We're gonna ask what is coming at Pisces this week for their love life, general reading. What is coming at Pisces this week for their love life? Tell me about their love life for this week of October 18th to the 23rd. It's coming at Pisces. We have the Page of Wands. The World. I love this card. Look at this pumpkin spice. And again, the little ghost has glitter on it because it's a major arcana card. We have the Hanged Man, again, another major arcana. So it's got little glitter. And bottom of the deck is the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So right away, I get the energy, Nine of Pentacles, that you, Nine of Pentacles, Taurus, or, oh my God, I can't even speak, um, could be dealing with a Taurus, <laughs> Pisces. I feel like the Nine of Pentacles in reverse here, so that's the bottom of the deck energy. This is something that's unknown to you, something that could be happening in the next few weeks in your love life. So normally the Nine of Pentacles upright is, the, is someone that's single, and it's in the reverse position. So this means that you are not going to be single or you currently are not single. You could be in a committed relationship already with someone. Um, I feel like with the page of wands here that there is some kind of new energy of passion, enthusiasm, creativity, drive. Someone is very excited about this connection, this love um, connection. 
we have the world here. So the world, again, with this little pumpkin spice, everything nice card, so freaking cute. Um, so this is completion. You have reached the end of the cycle of something. You're, you're totally fulfilled. You're complete. You've learned all the lessons that you need to learn with this person and you're just carrying on. Like things are, are going rather, relatively smoothly. You do have the hanged man card, which is the energy of, of kind of looking at things with a new perspective. Um, I feel like you're doing a lot of, there's a lot of stillness and quietness right now. I don't think it's harmful. I think it's, you're doing a lot of self-reflecting about this relationship. I feel like you're even in a, in a place of calm in this connection, meaning you don't feel like you need to do any more work. So if you were doing the manifesting before, you know, doing various techniques, following the law of attraction, journaling, you know, all these things, visualizing all these things to manifest. I feel like you, your manifestation is unfolding. So now you're just kind of resting. You're waiting for it to come to you and you're not doing any more work to try to get this manifestation to come towards you. And ultimately with the world here, it's fulfilled. Your manifestation is going to be fulfilled. You're getting what you desire. Um, let's go ahead and just clarify that page of wands. Tell me more about the page of wands here. Why the page of wands? We have the death card. It jumped out of the deck here. So this is very symbolic for big changes. It's the ending of something, an, an old cycle, and the beginning of something else. So I feel like this is a re really beautiful card for you because you're in that state of just feeling fulfilled and completed. That um, you have full faith in the universe that things are unfolding as they need to be. You've gone through these rough patches or whatever in this relationship, and now things are smoothing out. Things are going into the direction that you had hoped and wished for. So that is what that death card is. It's the end of old patterns, old ways, and the relationship is transforming into something more progressive, stable, and beautiful. Oh, I forgot to draw the two Oracle cards. Oh my goodness. For your love reading, we're going to just pull two Oracle cards. That one is flipped. So two Oracle cards to kind of back up this reading. We've got healthy choices. So in the beginning, remember we had that card, that bad health. So this one's saying making healthy choices in love, in life, self-love, self-care, being happier. So I feel like one, I feel like you're already getting this about making healthy choices, making healthy choices for your overall health, your well-being as well. Um, but also just, I feel like you are investing in yourself, like you're you're in this mode. Where did you go? Right here. You're in this Zen mode. You know, you're just trusting that everything's working out. So I feel like you are focused on your, your mental health. You're just focused on being happier. And I think you even have that. I mean, look how happy that ghost is there with the world card. Wish fulfilled. You are much happier. Having complete faith in your manifestation ability, your power. One more card for this love connection. Tell me more about what's coming at Pisces for their love life. Let's try again because two jumped out. What's coming? Oh, oh my God. You know what? It's, it's ridiculous. It's like, oh, what's coming at Pisces? Oh my God. Seriously. The deck does not like to shuffle. What's coming at Pisces for their love life this week? I feel like maybe Spirit's telling me I need to stop. That we're stopping at healthy choices. I am. I, I'm going to stop. This deck is not shuffling. It's throwing out like eight cards at a time. So I learned my lesson that when that starts happening, that's Spirit's way of telling me, no, stop. So I'm going to stop. You only get one card. I'm sorry, Pisces. But it's about healthy choices. You've been making healthy choices in love and life. You're you're investing in yourself, self-love, self-care, and then focused on being happier. And I believe you already have that energy. So next part, we're going to get an angel oracle card. So uh, this is a message from your angels around you. They have something to tell you. So we're going to get a message from your angels towards Pisces. We got let go. Let go. Um, I feel like this already has to do with where you're at right now. Like you're feeling like you don't need to 
work hard at manifesting what it is that you desire because everything is coming to you. Um, you don't have to try to control this with your own hands. You don't have to try to invest and do anything more. You're just sitting back and letting it come to you. So I already feel like you have this energy of letting go. We're getting to the point of asking a yes or no question. So what I want you to do, Pisces, is I want you to close your eyes and I want you to focus on your third eye. If you don't know where that is, the quickest way I can tell you is to focus um, with your eyes shut. Look at the area in your mind. Look at the area where you're, between your eyebrows. And just imagine like a glowing white light, purple light, whatever light. I usually use white light. And what I want you to do is imagine seeing your question, the words of your question written out on a blackboard, on a white dry eraser board, whatever. But I want you to actually see the words of your question. So go ahead and think about this question. Hold this question in your mind. Okay, keep holding that question and I'm shuffling your yes or no card from the Angel Answers deck. All right, so we're going to pull the answer for your question right now. There's something better. So whatever question you had in your mind, your answer from the angels are there's something better, something better for you. Um, in the extended reading, there is a link down below in the description box for it. Um, I will be going over how the person on your mind, how they're feeling about you right now, their current feelings. I will be pulling a card about a blockage, if there's any kind of blockage, any advice. And then I'm going to pull some cards on the, the person on your mind, their next actions and intentions over the next four to six weeks. Thank you so much for watching Pisces and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.